Two financial giants, stocks and real estate, are swelling to unprecedented heights, and one expert believes we're on the brink of a historic crash. In his recent talk, Harry Dent breaks down the alarming synchronization of the housing and stock market bubbles. Let's hear from Dent himself on why he believes this convergence is a recipe for disaster. Yeah, we're at the end of the greatest debt bubble, and, and, and we've never seen two bubbles in a row. That's another unique thing. Two real estate bubbles and two stock bubbles, and this time the stock and real estate bubbles are kind of occurring together. So that's the trip. Well, we've never seen a housing bubble like this, I don't, I don't believe. I mean, I've been serving the housing market for about 35 years, and uh, since 2020, Home prices have absolutely exploded. Um, in your opinion, has this uh, housing market crash finally started? Well, you know, I, I I think it's just cresting now. I think it's about to start. I, I tell people, you know, in real estate, look at the stock market because the stock market tends to be the more leading indicator for the economy and then housing tends to follow. And the difference, if you look back at the last downturn where stocks peaked in late 2007, Real estate started peaking before, but real estate didn't bottom until mid-2012 when stocks bottomed in early 2009. So, so when you see the stock market start to fall, that's when you start to say, okay, I don't have long to sell my house uh, if I'm looking at selling uh, because this real estate bubble is the second in a row, never happened before. By the way, even the Roaring Twenties, there really wasn't much of a real estate bubble because loans were hard to get back then. In the Roaring Twenties, a mortgage loan was was 50% down in five-year terms. You have to pay off the whole loan in five years. So the stocks got speculated in and got bid up. Real estate just had a normal kind of boom and bust. It only went down 26% in the Great Depression. You know, Stocks went down 89% in the Great Depression. So this, that's what's different this time. Real estate really is even more so the heart of this bubble. And financing, you know, since the kind of the 80s forward and particularly the mid 90s forward, financing has been so easy and interest rates keep getting pushed down by the Fed and, and falling inflation. Dent begins by highlighting an extraordinary situation, the coexistence of two major economic bubbles. According to him, the stock and real estate markets are inflating together a rare occurrence in financial history. This synchronicity, he asserts, sets the stage for a potentially catastrophic collapse. Dent's analysis starts with the housing market, which he has monitored for over three decades. He notes that since 2022, home prices have surged to unprecedented levels. Dent believes this market is currently cresting, suggesting a peak followed by an imminent decline. He emphasizes that real estate, although seemingly stable, often follows the trends set by the stock market. To substantiate his claim, Dent draws parallels with the last major economic downturn. In late 2007, stocks peaked first, followed by the housing market, which took longer to bottom out. This historical pattern, Dent argues, indicates that once the stock market starts to decline, a significant downturn in the housing market is inevitable. He advises homeowners, considering selling to act swiftly before the real estate bubble bursts. Dent underscores the uniqueness of our current situation by comparing it to the Roaring Twenties. Back then, real estate did not experience such speculative bubbles due to stringent loan conditions, requiring 50% down payments and five-year terms. In contrast, today's market is heavily fueled by easy financing and low interest rates, a trend that began in the 1980s and intensified in the mid-1900s. This, Dent suggests, has made real estate far more vulnerable to speculative excess and subsequent crashes. The crux of Dent's argument is that the real estate market is now the epicenter of this economic bubble, exacerbated by prolonged low interest rates and lax lending standards. He warns that the impending crash could rival the Great Depression, where stocks plummeted by 89%. While real estate only saw a 26% decline during that period, Dent fears today's bubble could lead to more severe consequences due to its speculative nature. Harry Dent's forecast is a stark warning. He posits that the synchronized peaks of the housing and stock markets, driven by unprecedented debt and easy financing, are about to usher in a period of significant economic turmoil. As we stand on the edge of this potential financial abyss, Dent's insights serve as a crucial reminder to brace for impact and make informed decisions to safeguard our assets. 
Dent reveals a critical factor driving these unprecedented bubbles, the massive influence of the baby boomer generation. His insights paint a vivid picture of just how global and historic this real estate bubble has become. Let's hear more from Harry Dent on why he believes this bubble is unparalleled and what he advises for homeowners in these uncertain times. So, so this, this really has been the most global and the biggest real estate bubble in all of history. In fact, I'm telling people, I don't think we'll ever see one this big again. And we haven't seen one this big uh, previous, even going back to the 1800s or something. So this, this is a big deal. And, and, you know, normally people say, hey, it's my house. You know, I, I'm going to be in it forever. Okay, well, yeah, yeah. If, if you're thinking of trading up, don't do it now. You know, stay in your smaller home and wait. If you're thinking of selling and maybe retiring and, and, and downsizing a few years from now because you're an aging baby boomer, well, well, sell your big house now and wait a few years for the, to see if this crash sets in, which I think is very, very, very likely um, to buy. So, so real estate's the biggest purchase we make. And again, never before a bubble like this because of such ease, such such easy financing for, for housing mortgages. And, and I'm telling you, the people who I feel most sorry for in the world are the Chinese. Chinese have incomes like more like twelve to fifteen thousand in US dollar equivalents. And the typical Chinese household is buying one little house and then buying one or two more and leaving it empty, not even renting it out because they think real estate is the road to wealth. So, so as bad as our bubble may be the biggest we've ever had in the U S and bigger than the one uh, that peaked in, in um, 2006 and crashed 34% on average in the U S this bubble will be bigger here, but the Chinese are going to see the real estate bubble burst of, all times. Dent attributes the scale and global nature of the current real estate bubble largely to the baby boomer generation. He describes this as the most significant and expansive real estate bubble in history, one that surpasses any previous economic cycles, even those dating back to the 1800s. According to Dent, this is a big deal with far-reaching implications. He explains that many people view their homes as permanent investments, assuming they will live in them indefinitely. However, Dent advises caution, especially for those considering trading up to a larger home or for aging baby boomers planning to downsize in the near future. He suggests holding off on major real estate transactions, such as buying a larger home or selling a current one, until the potential crash he predicts has run its course. Dent emphasizes that real estate is typically the most significant purchase individuals make in their lifetimes. The current bubble, he argues, has been inflated by extraordinarily easy financing for housing mortgages, a trend that has made the market particularly vulnerable. This easy access to financing has led to speculative buying and inflated home prices, creating an unsustainable market situation. One of Dent's most striking points is his focus on the Chinese real estate market. He highlights the stark contrast between the relatively modest incomes of Chinese households and their aggressive real estate investments. Many Chinese families with annual incomes equivalent to $12,000 to $15,000 are buying multiple properties, often leaving them empty because they view real estate as a guaranteed path to wealth. Dent warns that this speculative behavior is setting the stage for an even more dramatic bubble burst in China than in the United States. He compares the current U.S. real estate bubble to the one that peaked in 2006 which resulted in a 34% average decline in home prices. Dent predicts that the impending crash will be even more severe. However, he asserts that the situation in China could be catastrophic, given the scale of speculative investments and the disconnect between income levels and property prices. Harry Dent's analysis underscores the gravity of the current real estate bubble and its potential global repercussions. His advice to homeowners and potential buyers is clear exercise caution, and avoid making significant real estate investments until the market stabilizes. Dent's insights serve as a stark warning about the risks of speculative bubbles and the importance of prudent financial decision-making in volatile times. So, what can we learn from Dent's analysis? 
his perspective serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of unchecked speculation and the importance of historical context in understanding economic trends. Whether you agree with his predictions or not, one thing is clear, the financial landscape is fraught with uncertainties. Stay informed, stay vigilant, and most importantly, stay prepared. If you found this analysis insightful, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more in-depth discussions on economic trends and financial strategies. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update.